My drink of choice is a green tea, as it always is in the morning and the afternoon. Yeah, I think it went well for, uh, for me in particular to learn a lot as a head coach. It was great to have an own group and to um, show them the way that I wanted them to play and, and take them into a new environment as I uh, like to make it a professional environment. Uh, we, we chosen a lot of local kids uh, to show also the local community that we look locally instead of only getting players from Sydney and abroad. Um, and we're trying to develop all the players and we see how they go. This year, look, we didn't want it, like, uh, and that was not our goal as well. We wanted to improve players, to develop players, see who's good enough to be potential athletic player, and that's that's everything we did this year, and, uh, and that's the change of, um, of probably the last two or three seasons. Um, well, the NYL like, didn't go well, but just because we had a different vision on the way we, we um, we were using the NWL, we are using the NWL. We use it as a development league instead of a league where we want to win and 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 give players a medal and then have to go back to their own clubs and not good enough for our league. Um, we wanted to develop and, and see which players is good enough to make a potential A League move or uh, hopefully be good enough to um, to go to the St. Cosmos Mariners A League team. And and this year we had two players that played for the national team under 19. That's, Two players that signed uh, or registered as an A-League player with the Mariners, and um, we had a trainer and player who's done, done really well and, and trained with us a lot, and he won the Nike chance. So there's um, there's a lot of yeah, already four players that either um, everybody developed, but four players that we 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 found out of the out of the lot that that maybe have a future in the A-League. Um, well, I had 15 players contracted, and um, out of those 15, I think everybody developed. To a certain level, everybody progressed in a good way, but some of them more than others always, and that's always going to be the case. Um, I think Jesse Curran had a good season; he developed well. He had a like a moment there where he dropped off again, and uh, but that's normal as a young kid, just 17, and uh, and Josh Bingham adapted well to the level, and you could see he's, he's ready for a professional environment. Um, but also youngsters like Daniel McFarlane who came in and. Um, and in his motion and in, in uh, like all the coordination and the body, I think he changed and shaped up a, little, uh, a lot and uh, is ready to step it up next year and, uh, and hopefully in two, three, four years they're going to be good enough to play for the St. Louis Mariners Yeah, well like Dayan is a, uh, was injured while we did our trials, I trialed about 130 kids locally and, uh, and from Sydney, Newcastle, like all of all the way from uh, all over Australia, basically, and we gave everybody a chance to be seen and to see how they adapt to um, to my training sessions and whether they were good enough for the NWL. And then we signed up 50 players, when, and Daniel wasn't amongst them because he couldn't trial. Um, but I had good, um, I, I heard good stories about him, and uh, I spoke with the head coach of Manly, Greg Mitchley, about him, and. Uh, he said he was ready to step it up from under 80s, under 20s, mainly to go to um, as a trainer and player with our squad. And, and I used him in a lot of sessions, and I think he developed well as, as amongst others. But uh, probably one of the most ones that developed really well. And um, uh, yeah, he he def uh, he played a few games for us. He scored on debut when he played against West Sydney Wanderers. Um, then he ha he asked me two weeks ago if he could go to Melbourne for the Nike chance, and I gave him. I gave him permission for that, and uh, and he won the Nike chance, the same as Tommy Rodrick won it back in his days. And um, yeah, if, if there's one player that like I have to pick straight away, who's maybe have a good future in A League, then Dayan is the one. I think he's he's got everything about him that brings the potential in in a, in a, in a professional football player. His mentality, his attitude, he's strong. The quality is on the ball. The quality is off the ball. Uh, he still can improve a lot, he needs to improve a lot, but he's already asked to train with the first team as well and uh, he'll be contracted with us next year and, and play in the NWL and hopefully within a year or two play in the other. Yeah, that's all about networking, all about scouting, going to uh, visit the, uh, the state league games, uh, talk to a lot of coaches and, uh, and try to yeah, find new players. Um, some will be retained, a lot of them will be released and um, and we have to find a lot, of, yeah, a lot of new, younger, and, uh, and, and new players. And um, everybody this year had a chance, and hopefully they gave me 100% in, in their abilities. And, uh, and but I, I have to look forward. I just select players that I think are good enough for A League, not good enough, not good enough for NYL. They have to be good enough for A League. 
and that's how we select. Um, but the MYL is there again to develop and I want to develop every player and I'm 100% sure that I develop every player. But in the end it's up to the player how good they can be and, uh, and they have to show me and the first team coach uh, Phil Moss and the assistant coach uh, Wayne O'Sullivan that they're good enough. And the goalkeepers have to show Jason, uh, JC that they're good enough and, uh, and, and that's our selection policy. If they do well according to their, their and our philosophy, um, then they have a potential future. But um, if we say they, they develop well but they're not good enough, we'll tell them. We will always be honest, I'll always be honest to everybody. And if they're not good enough, they can go back to their clubs and, um, and, and we'll find a new Tommy Roderick, hopefully, or the new John Hutchinson or whoever. So that's the policy, that's the club policy. We're trying to find young talent and upcoming talent and try to develop into A-League players and that's, that's my job. And, um, and by retaining some of them, they show me they're done well and they, they adapted to the, uh, the level and the quality of football. And, uh, and others will be uh, released and then I'll, uh, I'll look over in, in the local competition and uh, their own academy and, and, and other other games that uh, try to find the best ones but hopefully the network is going to bring me a lot of context and a lot of uh, potential early players and, uh, and see if they're good enough for us and over these three four months we'll select a, a new squad and uh, I will contract 50 new players or a lot of them will be new players and, uh, and get ready for the, um, for the NYL season 2014-15. Yeah I find it really interesting it started of course with Graham Arnold the, um, he offered me the job, going together with the club to uh, become the MYL coach, and and of course also to be there with the with the first team because you learn from the better coaches and you learn from uh, from a better environment and a higher end quality environment, and that's what the first team is. And they have to adapt to me that I'm not a player anymore, but I'm starting to become a coach. And and this year was a great transition for me. I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about other players, uh, and and yeah, I think I had a good year in. in in regards to experience as a coach, in uh, experience how to work with younger players, experience how to communicate with everybody around, and 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 make sure the clock goes forward, like Mike Charles wants. And um, yeah, so I'll do everything I can in my possibilities, in my game, and in my team um, to to get the same philosophy that the club has, and and to follow that philosophy. And 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 Phil Moss is that do is doing that with the first team. And hopefully there's going to be a few players in, in the coming years that have been with me and then play with Phil Moss. And, but yeah, they're, doing, they're, showing, they're showing great attitude towards me that I can be in there and, and, and learn of Phil and learn of well, Wayne O'Sullivan and JC and, and, and Graham on and also learn of the boys that they respect me and, um, and help me in my way to become a good coach. Because my ideal thing is I want to be the head coach of the Mariners and that should be in uh, yeah, in two, three, four, five years' time, but that's my uh, that's my goal at the moment, and that's where I'm uh, I'm looking for in, in the long term. Yeah, it's good. It's uh, it's it's come from a, a, a agreement with uh, Peter Turnbull when he was at the club, um, because I was asked to do some uh, some live shows, and I said I have to ask the club. I talked to Peter Turnbull back in the days, and I said this is the offer they want to uh, they want to have me on that show at times when I can. And, uh, and I said, like, it's great because I can talk a lot about the Mariners, I can talk a lot about the positives that the Mariners are doing and can probably put the Mariners on the television in, 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 a, good, in, a, good, uh, in a good spotlight and, uh, and that's exactly where it's for. I like to work there, it's, it's good, it's been an experience as well because it's live, you can't, you can't do much wrong because it's straight away on the television, but um, it's all what I like. I like to talk about football, I like to represent the Mariners and, and, and be that guy uh, on national television to talk about them, talk how good the team is going, how the transformations are going, what the ups and downs are in the team, what the ups and downs are in the club, and uh, and to be that guy that um, yeah, put it all out there in the media, and that's a great, it's a great platform for it, uh, and we don't have to ask for it, and we just yeah we talk a lot, but amongst other things we talk a lot about the Mariners, and um, but yeah from a personal thing it's also a next a next step that I become more more known as a coach, more known in my English, in, in communication about football, talking with other players and other people and it's great that you get to know uh, people like Tara Rush and Annie Harper that uh, got the same uh, interest and the same ideas as me.